Hey everyone, and welcome to my Procreate demo for the piece I did of Doofus Drake from DuckTales. Um, this was super fun to work on. Uh, my son's been watching a lot of uh, DuckTales lately and Darkwing Duck, so I just had to do a Doofus Drake piece because he's such an amazing design. Um, so here uh, I captured the whole drawing process, um, which is pretty cool. So um, you can see me starting to figure out just what I wanted to do with him. All I know is that with his design, he's got that little face just sort of jammed into that big mar uh, marshmallowy head. That that's sort of what I wanted to capture, and I wanted to try and get those shapes as exaggerated as possible. So you can see me in here just roughing in sort of what I want to do with it. Um, one thing you'll specifically notice too is that at one point I take his beak, his like lower jaw, and I make it much shorter because I'm just trying to jam that all up in there. So you'll see that when I go to do the tighter lines. So here I am doing a rough and then I lower the opacity on it and then I was going to do like somewhat tighter lines but this is really less for tight lines and more for just calling my decisions final essentially on what I wanted to do with these shapes. Um, since I was going to render it, I knew tight lines weren't going to be important, but I considered them for a second. There was the shortening of the lower jaw. You can see um, just how much more that jams his little face up in there, um, which is exactly why I wanted to draw him in the first place. So now I flipped him back um, and I started on the background first. Uh, I wanted it to be based off of that episode where he turns into that like super duck character. So um, they were at camp when that happened. So I just started by putting in some pine trees in the background, sort of a light dirt, you know, ground type thing, and blue skies. And then I um, uh, just kept it really vague and blurry because I wanted it to, to have that depth anyways. Um, a lot of the times I'll paint it sharper and then blur the background, but this time I just didn't want to put that much work into the background, so I started blurry with it. Uh, so now here I am going in and putting in all the flats for the main shapes. Um, each one of these flats are on their own layer, uh, so that I can then select that layer and use that as my um, trap, essentially. That way, for all the subsequent layers that are created, I can just paint willy-nilly and it can go everywhere. Um, since uh, masks and all that aren't really supported in Procreate, this is the easiest way to do it, which is also beneficial because that's the way I used to do it um, in Photoshop before I really taught myself how to do masks. So there you can see I tried to put a little bit of depth into his little like plume coming off of his head, and I realized that that was sort of against what I wanted to do with that thing. I wanted to keep that like sort of flat. I just wanted it to be this big flat like extrusion um, that's stuck on his forehead. So I went back to keeping that part simple and then uh, trying to get all the dimensionality out of the rest of his face. I actually painted this while I was watching Bridge of Spies, so going back and watching this video again while I'm doing the commentary, I'm, I'm just thinking about Tom Hanks, basically. <laughs> so I really wanted to capture the reflection of the glasses. Uh, usually when you're doing a piece like this, you're sort of trying to add a lot more material treatment to something that usually doesn't get that... Um, that kind of touch. Um, since it's usually animated, he's usually just flat colored. So I wanted to make sure that I was getting as much uh, material expression in there. So making sure the glasses shine, making sure the white feathers of his um, face sort of have that bloom to them. Uh, just trying to, to keep that consistent across the whole thing. There are some sections of this that when you go back and you rewatch it, you're like, what is happening? But if you actually look in close, it's usually like some, right now it's like detailed uh, bill work, I guess. Um, and then I, I move from that to the mouth. No, I'm lying. I'm on the glasses now. Man, I really need to watch these before I start doing the commentary. So you can see I'm working on all the rims, uh, the rims of the glasses. Basically the way I just created that was I created those shapes using, um, a circle PNG that I found on the internet way back when that's where I used for a lot of circle stuff so if you go back you can see that and then after creating all those shapes I just duplicate them shift them and that's how I get that the depth the chunkiness of the glasses so then I went into the mouth real fast you can go back and see exactly what I did there it's really basic um, and then I moved on to the shirt and now I am working on the handkerchief The part of the shirt and the handkerchief and stuff, that's all just sort of paint by numbers. I think that if you're looking for what's more unique about this one than, say, one of the past videos, it would probably be just the attention to bounce light that I tried to bring to this uh, as much as possible. So you're going to see some red bouncing off the 
handkerchief onto the white feathers, some of the sky bouncing off the white feathers, the um, bill uh, bouncing off the glasses, the just all of that. If you, if you look through the whole piece, that's something that is pretty clear that it was a focus of mine. And right now, getting the reflection on that little badge that's on his hat. Uh, another thing, too, that doesn't really get captured in this that I've mentioned in the past is the layer management. Layer management in Procreate being difficult because there is a limit to your layers depending on the resolution. So at some point during this, I kept hitting, like, layer limits. So what you essentially have to do to get around it, or how I get around it in Procreate, is I duplicate that entire canvas, and then um, in that new file, I just start merging things. Uh, ultimately, what I do is I then take these Procreate files, I export them as PSDs, and um, to iCloud, and then I import them into Photoshop, and then I reassemble it all. Uh, you will never see that version of it because there's really no point in you seeing that version of it. That's just more for my own curation and making sure that I've got sort of like complete files. I also back up the Pro file, um, and then uh, I haven't deleted any of these from my iPad yet, so I sort of always got them around. Uh, so now I'm just doing the, the fur, um, the fuzzy fur for the hat, and then I'll move into the tail. Uh, I do the tail in a way that I've done a lot of things. Um, I'll start talking about it now before we get to it. The tail is like a fox tail, so it's got white on the end. Um, so I paint the whole thing in brown uh, with that white I've already painted as a shape on there. Uh, then you just basically fill in all of those layers that you painted with the brown with the various values of white that you're looking for. Then you take that shape that you created for the end of the tail and then you just erase away everything that's not that. Um, that might sound like a little bit of an overly complex explanation, but you can see it right there. There you go. So if you go back and rewatch that, you can see essentially what I did was I just refilled all that in um, with the values of the white that I was looking for. So there you go. That is the piece. Um, I hope you dig it. This one was really fun. Um, so thanks for watching uh, this video of Doofus Drake. If you're looking for me on the internet, these are all the places where you can do that. Thanks everyone.